Former Frehley's Comet bassist John Regan dies. Regan had performed with Todd Howarth, drummer Anton Fig of Late Show with David Letterman, fame and original Kiss guitarist Ace Frehley in the band Frehley's Comet. His recording credits also include Peter Frampton, The Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger, David Bowie, David Lee Roth, Robin Trower, Billy Idol and many more. According to the Poughkeepsie Journal, Regan met Fraley in the mid-1980s at a friend's recording studio in White Plains, New York. The two got together for a jam session, playing Jimi Hendrix and LED Zeppelin tunes, and that led to Regan's involvement with Fraley's Comet. His tenure with that band lasted until about 1990. Asked about Fraley, Regan told the Poughkeepsie Journal, He's a cook, in a good sense. In a world full of copies, he's a one-off. He's an original. And regarding the allure of Kiss, the hard rockers known for outlandish costumes and makeup, Regan said, It was almost like getting a rock band and a circus on the same night. It was an event. It was a multi-sensory experience. It was a total immersion in this spectacle that nobody else was doing. In a 2016 interview with Song Facts, John stated about his approach to working with big-name artists. I have been fortunate to have worked with artists that did not dictate on any level. Keeping in mind that I have always approached my contribution to a recording or live performance as one of facilitator. By that I mean it is always in the forefront of my mind to try and play my bass parts to best serve the song, singer and my fellow musicians. Peter, Frampton, in particular is a pleasure to work with in that regard. For the better part of 31 years, from 1979 through 2010, it was an honor to compose and perform his music. Regarding his studio work with other artists, John said, spending time working in studio with the likes of Frampton, Billy Idol, Mick Jagger and David Bowie, the Rolling Stones, Michael Monroe and legendary producers such as Eddie Kramer and Nile Rodgers, just to name a few, has been nothing short of awe-inspiring and profoundly enjoyable. Suffice to say, each project had moments that I was pinching myself, just to make sure I wasn't dreaming.